A group pushing for an income tax cut in Missouri is making its case in Springfield. The tax cut bill is the subject of a political fight, and today, a coalition called Grow Missouri stopped in the Ozarks to spread its message. Kevin Schwaller, this is all leading up to a veto session next month. Yeah, that's right, it is. The legislature passed House Bill 253. Supporters of the bill, like Grow Missouri, say it will lower taxes and help business. Governor Nixon vetoed the bill, saying it's flawed and it's going to cost too much. We taught school in California for 30-something years. Then Lauren and Marilyn Wren retired <laughs> in the Ozarks. The more money the government has, the bigger the government gets. We sat down with Wren at a meeting for Grow Missouri. It's the coalition trying to override the governor's veto of the income tax so, bill. A lot of the protections they use... Turns are... out, Wren still has a knack for teaching. And the more I give the government, the less I can give to Sam, who owns a store, or Bill, who owns a gas station, or, you know... Just the way it is. And a good example. And that's a simplified version of the message here. Grow Missouri believes House Bill 253 will lower income taxes and help business. Our economy needs this shot in the arm. We know that everywhere this has taken place, that income taxes cuts actually stimulate the economy. Grow Missouri made about 12 stops in the last week, and it plans to continue traveling leading up to the veto session. Opponents say the bill would hit revenue, and the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce also recently opposed the bill. That bill and the, the underlying uh, flaws in it really lead to a sense of uncertainty. Governor Nixon is warning of the bill's possible effects on schools and other groups. How significant some of the potential cuts would be to necessary services. Rent doesn't buy the governor's message, and Grow Missouri wants those attitudes to pressure lawmakers as the veto session approaches. And that veto session starts September 11th. Carl Bearden with United for Missouri believes it could come down to a handful of votes. The governor is restricting $400 million from the budget to prepare for possible revenue losses if the override happens. Kevin, thank you.